Did you know there were trainees in Luxembourg? Or should I say, did you know there was a Luxembourg? Luxembourg is a small country surrounded by Germany, France and Belgium, also known as Le Grand Duché or Letzeberg. The country is a multilingual heaven with three official languages, Luxembourgish, French and German. Luxembourg has the highest GDP per capita in the world and is on a par with Liechtenstein and Monaco. Luxembourg City is a glamorous medieval city perched on sheer cliffs located in the heart of the country of Luxembourg. The city's population is just over 115,000 and only 54% of the population of the country are native Luxembourgers. Luxembourg is part of the original six countries to join the European Union and is home to many European institutions such as the Court of Justice of the European Union, the European Investment Bank, the European Parliament and the European Commission, just to name a few. Now that you're all clued up on Luxembourg, I have the pleasure of introducing the Commission trainees from Luxembourg to you. We are a group of 31 trainees of almost 20 nationalities, some even from outside of the European Union. We work in Eurostat, DGCom, DGConnect, DGSante and DGT, as well as the Publications Office of the European Union. As you can see, most of us work in the Directorate General for Translation, translating the very important documents you send us from the other DGs into all of the 24 official languages of the European Union. During these five months, we've not only worked hard in our DGs, but we have accomplished many great things by putting our heads together. We raised almost 1,000 euros for a Luxembourgish association called Stum Wunderstros, or Voice of the Streets, whose aim is to help homeless people in Luxembourg. Stum have developed a well-structured reintegration program to help homeless people who are willing to contribute to the running of this association to get back on their feet. To raise money for Stum, we held a Christmas charity event where we sold our artisanal products and baked goods. Our efforts in Stum are whopping 500 euros. Then we organized a film screening which attracted all of 12 people, hardly a box office record, but we still gathered over 100 euros. And the fun does not stop there. We organized a salsa and bachata class for charity taught by a fellow trainee, Christina, who hadn't stopped talking about salsa since the beginning of our traineeship. Through salsa, she showed us how to make the best of the tame nightlife in Luxembourg. And finally, we held a pub quiz, which turned out to be our most popular event. When we weren't busy raising heaps of money for charity, we spent our time learning foreign languages. Not even long, stressful days at work could stop us from attending language classes every evening. With the help of our teachers Jorge, Dominic, Petra, Sofia, Olga, Beatrice, Cristina, Ionella, Dorota and João, we ran weekly classes of Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Russian, Italian, Romanian, Polish, Croatian and Swedish. We were immensely grateful for the opportunity to improve our language skills, which we wouldn't have been able to do without our fantastic volunteer teachers. On screen, you can see a thank you note for Dominic from his advanced French students. Our language star was Sophia, our Swedish teacher, who herself attended three language courses, French, Portuguese and Russian. We would like to extend a huge thank you to our fantastic teachers, merci to Polia for booking the rooms and obrigada to all of the trainees who attended the classes. After our evening classes, we would scurry off home and write our almost monthly newsletter, The Trainee Times. As you can see, The Trainee Times is a timeless work of art and a source of mass information. In it, we have everything you need to know about our achievements, our hobbies, such as writing poems. We even had a few political opinion pieces. And most importantly, it's great for catching up on the latest gossip. We hope that the tradition of trainee times will be passed on to many generations of future trainees. In the meantime, we stayed focused on our future goals, namely our goal of finding a real job after the traineeship was over. Our mission was to create a support mechanism for ourselves, to avoid being sucked into the black hole of financial depression or to avoid falling into an existential crisis pit. 
we organize workshops, presentations and, perhaps in slight disharmony with current trends, we decided to knock down a wall and in true European spirit, we invited fellow trainees from other institutions to our job fair. Our job fair was immensely successful. We secured the attendance of some of the most prestigious companies in all of the land of Luxembourg. The initiative quickly attracted trainees from all over the institutions, even the faraway land of Brussels, and some of us even landed our first jobs thanks to the job fair. And believe it or not, we even managed to spare some time to partake in leisure activities. We took advantage of almost every weekend to go on day trips to different places in Luxembourg to discover new parts of the small, beautiful country. We visited the Anden, a small town whose main attraction is a monumental medieval castle. The region of Mulletal, nicknamed Little Switzerland, and Remish, a town on the German border in the wine-growing region of the Moselle River. We also explored the neighbouring countries, visiting among others Trier in Germany, Metz and Strasbourg in France, and of course Brussels. To round off our trainee ships nicely, we went on a four-day trip to Porto in Portugal. We had a wonderful time as we visited the Croft Port wine cellar, tasted local food, visited the medieval town of Guimarães, took Porto's historic tram to cross the Douro River by boat and watched the sunset on the beach. This sunny trip was just what we needed to recharge our batteries for the last three weeks of our traineeships. We spent the little time we had left visiting the many pubs of Luxembourg City, Die Kirsch and Batten, singing karaoke on Saturday night and hosting fancy dress parties where we dressed up as cops and robbers. But our final party is still to come. A glow-in-the-dark party is on the cards for the final weekend of our traineeship in Luxembourg. Finally, we would like to thank our DGs for giving us the chance to become part of their teams and for providing us with invaluable training. We would like to thank the traineeships office for taking great care of us, for answering our never-ending questions and organising transport for us between Luxembourg and Brussels, allowing us to participate in conferences including this one. Our traineeships have come to an end and many of us leaving Luxembourg for our home countries but some of us are staying and have already started calling Luxembourg their home country. Some of us will surely miss the bright long winter days in Luxembourg. Some of us will miss the feeling of being at home and abroad at the same time. Some of us will miss our work. But none of us will miss the Luxembourgish prices. Well, at least now we've learned to be good with our money. What we will miss most of all will be each other. The trips we went on, the evenings we spent together, the organized activities and our never-ending chats. We came to Luxembourg to improve our chances of getting a brilliant career. We have done just that and so much more. We have formed friendships that will last a lifetime. <laughs>